With the third pick of the 2001 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Tamika Catchings from the University of Tennessee. Tamika led the rookies in all categories, rebounding, points, steals, block shots. The Rookie of the Year Award to Indiana's own Tamika Catching. It is an honor for me to stand here before you and present the WNBA Defensive Player of the Year Award to one of the finest players in our league, Tamika Catching. Tamika Catchings, who continues to lead this league and team in interceptions. Catchings for the win. Got it! That is just a terrific athletic move. Catchings the rebound. Indiana wins the Eastern Conference. We're not free to go! She has been the runner-up for the WNBA's MVP award three times, but the 2011 season belonged to her, and tonight is her night. The 2011 WNBA Most Valuable Player of the Year award to the Indiana Fever Zone, Tamika Ketchum! Indianapolis, we're celebrating a title. The Indiana Fever in their 13th season are the WNBA champs. To the most amazing leader of this team, congratulations, Tamika. Stripped from behind by Catchings, out of bounds, it's Indiana ball. Stolen. There's the 1,000th of her career. She hits the jumper and becomes the first WNBA player with 5,000 points, 2,000 rebounds, 1,000 steals career. And at the other forward, number 24 from Tennessee, Tamika Ketchum. It's been a blessing to do this. It's been a blessing to have all of you guys support me. Thank you guys for just being the best to me. Thank you for allowing me to follow my dream. Tonight, it is time to honor a legend, our legend, with the ultimate honor, retiring her jersey and raising a banner here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. I'm Kristen Airy. It's been my pleasure and honor to be a part of this Fever franchise since the start. All 18 years, 16 of those with Tamika Catchings on the roster. She holds virtually every franchise record in Fever history, is the WNBA's all-time leader in rebounds, steals, and free throws, and the third leading scorer in league history. She is a 10-time All-Star, five times the defensive MVP, seven times first-team All-WNBA, the WNBA's Rookie of the Year, a regular season and finals MVP, and she led the Fever to the 2012 WNBA title. Now there is no more time to wait with her husband Parnell. Here she is, 
Tamika Catchings. We need to recognize a few special guests in attendance tonight. Of course, we have family and friends. The former coach of the Fever, the coach of the 2012 WNBA championship team, Lynn Dunn. And a former teammate, assistant coach, and head coach with the Fever, Indiana basketball legend, Stephanie White. And representing the WNBA, the president, Lisa Borders. Now please welcome the president of Pacers Sports and Entertainment, Mr. Rick Fusen. Well, good evening, Fever fans. Uh, it's certainly an honor for me um, on behalf of Herb Simon, Steve Simon, all the Simon family. Jim Morris and all of us from uh, Pacer Sports Entertainment, uh, your friends uh, who have watched you uh, grace this court uh, as such a champion, uh, we thank you, Tamika. We thank you for playing here. We thank you for making your whole pro career here, unlike so many others. Your whole career here, thank you. And, and thank you Thank you for meeting this guy and making your life here in Indianapolis. Thank you very much. And you know, you're a star. You're a star of our game. You're a star of our city and of our state and of our country. And you'll always be a star because when that banner goes up tonight, you're gonna watch, you're gonna shine down on every basket made here, every dribble made here forever. Tamika, you are forever. Thank you. Love you. Our next speaker, she's been here from the start of this Fever franchise back in 2000. She drafted Tamika Catchings, even though she missed much of her senior year with an ACL injury, and we all know the rest the president of the Indiana Fever, Kelly Kroskoff. So, I didn't have these, you know, when we started, so. I'm gonna wear them tonight because I wanna make sure that I get out the words that I want you to know. Um, Tamika, we've been through a lot together. We stood here nine months ago and uh, pay tribute to your 16-year career. What a special evening that was, indeed. But we knew there was one final thing left to do, and tonight we cement your legacy by officially retiring your number as the first player in franchise history. You know, the symbolism of retiring a jersey goes far beyond the fact that no player on the Indiana Fever team will ever wear number 24 again. It's our way of making sure that your place in this team's history will always be represented because of the incredible impact you have had on this organization. Number 24 for the Fever will always represent you, Tamika and all the qualities that you embody. Character, integrity, perseverance, heart, commitment, winning. So we raise your jersey to the rafters to join the other legends, including our own Hall of Fame head coach, Lynn Dunn,
So my hope, my hope for you and for all of us is the next generation of fans and players who come into this building and see your jersey will take a little piece of your spirit home with them. Your impact on others is and continues to be your legacy. Thank you for helping build this franchise, for working with me, for being a part of this team and staying here and helping us build great things. Your legacy will be here forever. Enjoy this moment and congratulations. And now let's hear from her, number 24, Tamika Catchings. Now, honestly, I woke up this morning and I tried to think about what I wanted to say. <laughs> I always want to start off by giving glory to God. And I love my family who's been here from the beginning through my ups and downs and all the struggles, all the good times and the bad times. And my coaches, my teammates, and everybody that's been by my side. And every one of you guys that has been there and that continues to be there in every single thing that I do. Being able to stay here and being able to leave a legacy here in Indiana. And I said this last year, I never would have dreamed of this as a seventh grade little girl aspiring to be in the NBA. I never would have dreamed that the WNBA would start my freshman year in college and I would have the opportunities to play in a league that were designed just for me. And so here we are. And I want to thank Kelly and Rick and Jim and the Simons and everybody else in Pacer Sports and Entertainment for taking a chance on me and for believing in me even sometimes when I didn't believe in myself. And I thank you guys that every single year that we came out, that you inspired me and you motivated me to not only do well on the court, but even off the court. And I thank you guys for supporting everything that I've done. Through on the court, through the Catch the Stars Foundation, and now through the tea shop. Thank you guys. And to the fans, I thank you guys because you're the reason that I wanted to stay. Every day that I get up and every day that I would drive in and pull into Banker's Life, I would be so excited about the opportunity to come out here and do what we do on the court. But I gotta thank my teammates. I've been blessed to have played with a lot of great players over the years, through junior high to high school to college to the pros. A lot of great people. And you guys, the position that I'm in now, I wanted to be, and I still want to be a part of you guys. Not that way. <laughs> 
But I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for just believing in me and allowing me to be your leader for so many years. You guys are awesome, and I can't imagine being in another place, having any other opportunity but then to be here in Indiana and to represent Pacers Sports and Entertainment and to be with you guys. And last, last but not least, last but not least, because I know we still have a game to finish, I want to thank my husband. Talk about a patient guy. Because <laughs> y'all know how I am. It's hard for me to stay still. But from the time that we had an opportunity to meet, and I think Larks was actually the first one that saw us. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> but from the first time, he's just been so patient with me. And there's nothing better than having somebody on your side. And you talk about just going through a storybook career and having an organization that has stayed by you time after time and having a family that has always supported you and having fans that have always supported you. But when you can find your partner, and you can find your best friend and the person that every single day you wake up to and every single day you come home to. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for you being you. And I just thank you because you're awesome. <laughs> So it's game time. God bless each one of you guys. Thank you guys for your support. This is awesome. This is an awesome night. And I thank the Patriots Sports and Entertainment, Fever, KK. KK. <laughs> is there anything else to say? But I love you guys so much, and I thank you. God bless. All right, Tamika. It's time to hang the banner. Tamika. Parnell, your family, make your way in front of the fever bench. It's the moment we've all been waiting for as mom and dad join. All right, let's count them down. Five, four, three, two, one. Tamika, do it. One more time for Tamika Ketchings. One more time. Let's hear it for Tamika Ketchings. 